I thought that maybe if I stop caring so much about the way I look and the way my videos look, I will be able to produce a bit more videos for you guys. And my educated guess says that you would rather see a video than no video at all. Time to just answer some questions. I have gotten over 200 questions, so we'll see how much I have time to answer. But uh, I will try to get through as many as possible, and I will try not to answer questions that I've answered 500 times already. Do you ever look at your tattoo slash tattoos and are not 100% satisfied or would want it to look just a little bit different? Yes, I have made an entire video on tattoo regret where I talk a little bit about my feelings about this. So you can check that out on my channel. Most of them I'm happy with, of course. Uh, actually, I, I think there's only like one that I wish was different. Do you believe in love at first sight? No, I believe in attraction at the first sight, but I think I don't agree with your definition of love if you believe in love at first sight. There is just no way you can, in my opinion, in my definition of love, there is no possible way to love someone when first just seeing them. What is one of your proudest moments slash achievements in life? I mean, I'd say every time I get a job, it's pretty cool. Uh, every time I achieve a goal, that's that makes me proud. And there's not really anything in particular that, that I'm more proud of than anything else, because I'm always proud of myself. Obviously, I'm proud every time I pay the bills, because I pay the bills with money I've earned doing what I love, and that I have created all on my own. What is your biggest ambition in life? And it's to constantly evolve, develop my brain, and to always go for new things, never settle, never be like, okay, now I'm just doing this, I'll just do this forever and not evolve my business or whatever. Um, I always want to do new things. And the good thing about what I do is that it very, quickly can lead into something else. Um, my YouTube career has given me so many other possibilities for work and for experiencing things and all of that. So my ambition is to constantly keep doing new things and constantly keep developing as a person and trying new things and uh, moving forward in life. Do you have any odd tics or habits you do without noticing? Well, if I do them without noticing, how am I supposed to tell you about it? When you started YouTube, what was your main goal? Have you reached it? And what is your goal for now? So, I mean, when I started YouTube, I didn't even know that I could possibly be a YouTuber. It's not like today where people start YouTube channels to become YouTubers. When I started my channel, it was just so that I could upload a video and post it on my Tumblr page. I didn't have a goal when I started YouTube, but when I started gaining subscribers and kind of wanted to do it more full time, then I guess I only had like, I've only ever had subscription goals, like how many subscribers I want to have because views were never really important to me, um, which is like an incorrect kind of goal to have, kind of, because the subscribers don't really matter the same way views do, but I still prefer to set my goals in subscribers because I think it's a fun thing to do. So when I started, I was like, sure, 100,000 is cool, but when you have like 275,000 subscribers, that's when you've made it. That's when you have a lot of subscribers. I just make up like weird numbers like that. For Instagram, it was like 78,000. When I have 78,000 followers on Instagram, that's when I have a big Instagram. Um, no sooner or nor later. Um, and now when I'm almost at 300,000, I don't know, my new goal is like, or my new number is like 325,000 subscribers, that's when you have a lot. And then 380,000, that's when you have a lot. So my goals always change, but since I can live off it today, my goal is just to have fun with it, make fun videos that you guys want to watch, that I enjoy making. Do you think you are the person that the young version of you wanted you to be? Mostly, yes, I think so. Um, I always wanted to be famous when I was growing up. Like, oh, I guess a lot of people wanted to be famous, but I have achieved most of the things that I think my younger self would have wanted to achieve. The only thing I guess my younger self would be kind of disappointed in is my 
physical abilities. <laughs> I guess I thought that I would be running marathons by now. I could be running marathons th this time next year if I wanted to, so it's not like, oh, I let myself down. Um, but uh, I think my younger self would have been more focused on sports than anything else, and that's kind of shifted the older I've gotten, but I think my younger self would be pretty amazed by what I have achieved so far. Have you had any bad habits that you really struggled to stop doing, but you managed to stop one day, and how did you stop? Um, so when I moved in with my boyfriend, I wasn't really aware, because, I mean, it wasn't really a problem when I lived alone, but I, like, leave trash a lot around the apartment a lot, and that I have really done my... I mean, it wasn't a struggle to stop, like, you literally just have to stop. <laughs> um, but another thing that's kind of connected to that is, like, I've stopped like procrastinating doing the smallest chores. My new like life motto is just fucking do it. Um, if I'm sitting in the couch and I remember like I have to start laundry or, or right I forgot to make the bed or I don't know I just have to do something tiny or I'm just I'm in the bedroom and I forget my water bottle and then I go sit down instead of sitting there like Ugh. I forgot my water bottle, oh, life is over, oh screw it, I'll just leave it. I just fucking get up, get the water bottle, and then go sit down again. None of this, like, <laughs> I just do things, get them done, and it's not as much of a hassle as you want to make it out to be, to yourself, to get out of having to do it. So I have like the latest year, I have decided, just fucking do it. Just get it done. When do you feel the most beautiful? So, I mean, I would 100% be lying if I said that I don't feel the most beautiful when I have full face of makeup, my hair done, false lashes, big lips, and just like everything on point. Because that is when I feel the most beautiful. Doesn't mean I don't feel beautiful now, uh, when I just get out of the shower, when I have washed my face and my hair and everything, I don't think I'm ugly. Absolutely not. I look the way I look, which is good. And there's nothing wrong with the way I look. But I use makeup to enhance my features and because I like the way it looks. So yes, I do feel the absolute most beautiful when I have done my makeup. Um, but as you can see, I don't always bother doing my makeup because I'm perfectly fine with the way I look without it as well. Have you ever considered quitting YouTube slash social media? If so, why? Uh, no, I have not because I enjoy it so much and the downsides are so tiny for me compared to the upsides, the good things. So I have never said or thought like, oh my god, I should just quit. Of course I thought, what would my life be like if I didn't do all of this stuff? But I have never had the desire to stop. Is blonde your natural hair color? Have you ever wanted to dye it a fun color? Um, so this is my natural color. The roots are of course a little bit darker than the length because... because because of sunlight, this is winter hair right here. It's always darker in the winter time. Um, and I have had a lot of colors. I've had brown, I had red, I've had reddish brown, I have dark brown, I've had lilac, I've had a little bit of blue, I've had a lot of different colors. And I never feel as much as myself as when I have my blonde hair. I didn't dye my hair the first time until I turned 18, I think, so this is who I am. Will Hall ever be started back up again? Uh, for those of you who don't know, my friend and I ran a clothing company quite a few years ago now, like 2014, I think, three years ago. Yeah, uh, so we ran a clothing company, it went really well, it was a lot of fun. Um, but then we, I moved away from that town, we tried to kind of make it work, but it didn't really... Uh, because she ended up having to do like all of the work since I couldn't really help out um, And now we're just in completely different places in our lives and it's just There's no way it could start up again and we don't really have the interest anymore But it was a lot of fun while it lasted. Is there anything you really don't like about yourself slash or your personality? What is it? Are you doing anything about it? Uh, in which case what or do you just live with it? Um, so 
the major thing that I've talked about before is my jealousy. I'm a very jealous person, or I was a very jealous person, but I have, I mean, I went to fucking therapy for it, so if that's not self-improvement, I don't know what. And I've gotten 100% better. I'm not 100% good, I still have issues, but compared to who I was before going to therapy and comparing that person to now, I it's like night and day. You can't even compare the two because I feel so much better. I've let go of the jealousy to, I don't know, 95%, I guess, and it feels great. So that's the major thing I guess I didn't like about myself. I still don't like that I have the tendencies because it all, like starts with my insecurities in myself um, but I have been working on it and honestly I work with it every day it's always something that I have to be conscious about and fight against and it's going well so that's the main thing I guess what's the craziest or weirdest sponsorship request you've ever gotten so I have a few rules <laughs> on my channel no matter what anyone will pay me no matter what I don't care. People say that I'm lying when I say this, but I don't care what you would pay me. I would never promote tobacco, like cigarettes, or religion, or online casinos. And I have gotten sponsorship requests from religion and casinos. And of course, they, I guess, they were willing to pay, for some people, a lot of money, but not enough to fucking sell my soul. Uh, I would never promote religion because I, I don't believe in it. How can I promote something that I don't believe in? And online casinos, I am not for either. I cannot stand behind that. And of course, tobacco is not something I'm interested in either. And to answer the question, the craziest one I got, I think, was the the religion one, because it was a Christian Christian organization or Christian church or something that wanted me to promote their confirmation camp. Um, I don't know if it's called confirmation in English. Like when you, first you are baptized and then when you're like a teenager, you do the same thing over again, <laughs> pretty much. I don't know. I, I'm not confirmed. I don't know what it's called. I don't really care, but they wanted me to promote their camp anyway. And I said, absolutely not, because why the fuck would I? Um, same goes for Buddhism or Hinduism or Islam or whatever. I'm not gonna promote something that has to do with religion. Not because I hate religion, just because on my channel, I have to promote things that I myself believe in, if that makes sense. If you had to get another portrait done, who would that portrait be? be, be. Um, I have been thinking about getting Lana Del Rey uh, tattooed on me for a very long time. For a lot of you that probably sounds completely random, but I am obsessed with Lana Del Rey. I love everything she has done. Her music means a lot to me and I just love everything about her music. I don't know a lot about her as an artist or as a person or anything. Um, but I think she is very beautiful. I love her aesthetic. So that is why I would choose to get an image of her tattooed on me as a representation of her music. Of course, in the most cases on my body is when something has to do with music. I get like a design that symbolizes it. But when it comes to her, I think, I mean, I, I think just she is so beautiful and everything about her is what like the feeling and everything, I just love it. So I would love to get Lana Del Rey tattooed on me. Um, how did you pick Rascal's name? Were there any other dog names you were thinking about? Yes, um, well, Rascal. Sonny and I, before we even got Rascal, we called each other Rascal a lot. It's like, oh, you Rascal. Um, and when we decided to get Rascal, uh, Rascal was the obvious choice, but up until we kind of picked him out at the kennel, we, we also had peanut and sausage. So it could have been peanut, sausage, or rascal. But of course, we picked rascal. How would you describe Sonny in three words? Um, funny, extremely, extremely stubborn, and loyal. 
I often hear people say that having tattoos has helped them gain confidence or maintain confidence during tough times. Do you think such a link between tattoos and confidence is real and had you experienced it for yourself? I absolutely think it's real and I absolutely have experienced it for myself. I, for every tattoo that I get, I get more confident in myself and in my body. Uh, before I got tattoos, I mean, it, it has to do with a lot of things. It's not like I got tattoos and then I miraculously just started loving my body, but there's a reason I start my first two tattoos were on my thighs because I used to hate my thighs. I always wanted thin thighs and then I decided to get tattoos on my thighs and then I wanted to show them off and like wear short shorts and I didn't care about the fact that my th thighs were big. They're, I mean, one, there's nothing wrong with having big thighs and two, they're not big thighs, which I know now, but at the time I had issues with that. So getting tattooed, I, I got tattooed on the part, body parts that I wasn't a fan of basically. And now of course I have tattoos all over my body, which means that I love most of my body. That's just how it is. And today, luckily I have grown to, or I have learned to love my body despite of the tattoos, like, or not despite of the tattoos, but even if I didn't have the tattoos, I have grown to love my body for what it is. And um, I don't really have those issues with it anymore. But yes, the confidence thing, absolutely. I am way more confident in myself now that I have tattoos than before. Because I do get tattoos to try to achieve the body that I f feel like I was meant to have. Given the opportunity to disprove one thing that people believe, global warming is fake, blah blah, blah is immoral, etc. What would it be and why? This is so difficult. Um, of course, I mean, people who think that global warming is fake, I just... How do you live with yourself? But also, racism. How is racism a thing? How can you be so stupid that racism is a thing? I don't understand. Um, of course, I mean, there are so many things that I wish could be proven that just can't. And it has a lot to do with believing in things. But I think racism, inequality, I mean, the fact that women of all shapes, sizes, ethnicities, religions, all women, trans women, are somehow worth less than all kinds of males. I guess that is the number one thing I would like to disprove somehow. Which, it, it has already been disproven. There is nothing that says that they, the women of all sorts, are less worth than men. But for the people who still can't see this, I would like them to see that. And then I would tackle racism and then I would tackle the environment. Even though if you don't tackle the environment, soon we won't have an environment to live on, in, around. Eh? But I would say that the inequality issue means more to me at the moment. Is your clicker, this one, a custom made one for stretched septums or are you downsizing? Um, I haven't really addressed it because I can't be bothered but uh, the ring that I was wearing was 3.2 and I think this one is 1 1.8 or something so a lot smaller but it's just that the one that I was wearing the clicker that was 3.2 or 3 actually I think it was just 3 um, it was uh, getting caught in my nose and it was like making it extremely sore and painful so I simply just had to take it out and put something else in and this since this is smaller it doesn't bother the the soreness in my nose now it has of course healed because i've had this for a few weeks and i like it i mean i think it looks nice so i'm just gonna keep it in i didn't like i'm gonna downsize but it was good it was hurting so i was like okay i'll just change it i'm not 100 percent passionate about the size i was at it was just a size that i happened to be at so i'm not worried about it shri shrinking or anything like that don't really care are you somebody who wants to marry or not? Why? Um, up until like a year ago, I've always been like, I have to get married. Oh, I'll get married at this stage. I'll have babies at this stage, yada, yada, yada. But at the moment, I don't give a fuck. I mean, I will not get married unless there are children in the near future, kind of. Um, because for me, the only point in getting married is to make it easier when you have children with legal things. I don't know how it is in your country, but in Sweden, 
legal things get easier when you're married when you have children especially if you have children and then you die <laughs> um, so I wouldn't want to have children without being married but the whole marriage thing I don't really care I could might as well just not get married um, I don't want a huge wedding woo I just want a, like a barbecue fucking party or something <laughs> or like have tacos with our friends and that's our wedding I don't really care um, and that's a relief. It, I used to be like really stressed about like, oh, how should I afford the big wedding? But I'm not fucking paying tens of thousands of dollars on a party. That's ridiculous. I'm not doing that. So we're just gonna have a nice little party with our friends in the future. Of course, if there's anyone I'm gonna marry, it's Sonny and we've already talked about that. But neither of us are like, ooh, my hair, I have to get married right now. <laughs> and I've told him, don't fucking propose to me now because we're not getting married now. And I don't want to be engaged for like fucking 10 years. I want to be engaged for like a year and then get married. So we'll just wait with that. Both of us know that we want to marry each other. So it's not like, will she say yes? It's just the timing. That's the important thing. What is worse and why? Not knowing what to do after school, university, etc. Or having too many dreams or plans to actually complete, fulfill. Absolutely option number two because your ch plans and your dreams and everything they change with time if you go after one maybe five will drop off the list and then you'll get four new ones and then you try to go after one of them and you succeed and then you get five new ones i always have way too many dreams to fulfill them all but it's okay because i drop off dr dreams and i get new ones and do all that crap every single freaking day so I definitely, definitely recommend having way too many dreams because it'll always change. And as long as you go after one at a time, you will be good. How has getting your own studio space increased your work? Well, I don't, I'm not sure what you mean by increase my work. Um, it has gave, given me more creative freedom, I would say, and I really like it. I have a more control over my surroundings. Well, now I'm just filming here, obviously, but I, I got a bookcase kind of a bookcase, bookshelf-ish thing um, for my office that is actually in this apartment right now that I'm going to move over to the office next week and I'll film that so we can kind of set up the thing <laughs> and build it. It's from Ikea, very nice. Um, and kind of fix my more standard background for filming because at the moment I don't have a standard background that I enjoy in the office. So that's what we're going to fix next week. So stay tuned for that. Is there anything you'd really like to be good at, but unfortunately you aren't? I, fun fact, am the least musical person, least musical person, musically talented person on the face of the earth. Yes, I played the violin, I was pretty good at it, but I, I just, uh, I don't like music in that sense. I'm not interested in the details around music. Sonny loves music, as you probably know if you've seen his channel. He loves talking about music and all of these things and oh this drum sounds so nice compared to this drum and I'm just like I don't fucking care. So I wish that I was more interested in music, better at music. I wish I could sing. I can absolutely not sing <laughs> because then Sonny and I would actually have something in common. Uh, but no, I, he, he's very interested in that stuff and I'm just not at all interested in that stuff. So it's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. Do you ever plan on getting pregnant? If yes, would you be upset about some of your tattoos stretching? Yes, I plan on being pregnant in the future, many years from now. And no, I don't care about my tattoos stretching at all. Do you ever compare yourself to other people? Do you ever feel like you're not good enough? If so, how do you deal with those kinds of emotions and thoughts? Uh, a lot more before going to therapy. That's a part, I guess, of the therapy I went to. Um, I have... There are a lot of people on social media, mainly in Sweden. I don't follow people internationally on social media that much. So I mainly follow Swedish people because I can relate to them more. I, it might sound weird for some of you, but for me it's like that. And I follow so many people that are so inspirational when it comes to body positivity, I guess, because that's the main part that I compare myself to others. I compare appearance because I'm very happy with uh, my achievements, my personality, all of that. But I do compare my body and my appearance to other people. But I also am influenced a lot by very 
body positive people who say like love yourself for who you are and that really works on me and people I look up to don't care or they probably do but they kind of encourage not comparing yourself to others which helps me not do that so I recommend finding people who inspire you to love yourself because that's a good way to kind of get that into your daily routine. If you see a lot of posts about those kinds of things, it might help because your thoughts are turned into feelings. And if you can think good feelings or good thoughts, then you might feel better. Not the solution to world issues, but that's how it works for me anyway. If you ever had a baby, what would be the most important life lesson uh, that be? What would the most important life lesson be that you teach him or her? Um, well, I think for me, it would be the most important to not confine and like strangle this baby with its gender. Um, I would want to raise my child to have more possibilities than the stereotypes of its gender or the opposite gender. There are not just two ways to raise children. Raise them as only children and they will have all the opportunities in the world. Of course, there are different struggles with having a boy or having a girl uh, and you would have to tackle those things appropriately for the gender that you have on the baby. <laughs> but it's, it would be very important for me not to raise my children stereotypically for their gender. That would be the most important. And then when they grow up and they're a little bit older and they have gotten that base from me or and Sonny, of course, uh, growing up, I think the most important would be to be kind and brave. How do you teach those things? I don't know. I'm not a children raiser. <laughs> I don't know. But that's kind of the, the things that I value. Well, we're done. We're done. I think, I don't know. But I think this video is long as fuck, but that is okay because today we're answering all the questions. If I refresh this page, we'll be sitting here for another hour, which let's just save that for another video. Thank you for hanging out with me this lovely evening. I'm sorry, but I'm going. You're going? Yeah, forever. Goodbye. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to buy Maxi. I'll send you a list. Excuse me, what are we gonna do? <laughs> okay, uh, until the next video, have a good one. Thank you for watching. Tonight? Yeah.